120. Hold it. Hold it. It's yours. Hold it. I'll put it in there. Put it there. You have just won 100. And, it's good. 125 thousand pounds now you can walk away with that but you are three questions away from one million pounds have a look at question number 13 take your time have a good look at it which building is known by the address number one London Buckingham Palace Lambeth Palace Clarence House Apsley House I'm quite sure it's Clarence House, but I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna gamble it. It's not worth it. <coughs> it's worth it if it's right. Yeah, but it's out on Reeves. I'm about 80% certain. You know, I could be wrong very easily. Dan, it's up to you. I Final answer. I can't. Final answer. Take the money. I'm, I'm gonna take the money. You've got to know when to when your luck's about to run out. You know. Okay, give him a big hand. Dan goes away. <laughs> With <laughs> have a look at this check. Let me, let me have a look at the check. Sorry, it's yours. You got it. Have a look at it. It's very, very nice. Have a look at it. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't panic. All oh, right. <laughs> Pay down hitching one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. You were going to say Clarence House, weren't you? Yeah. If you said that to me, you would no longer have this check for one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. How certain were you? Eighty percent. If you'd been a bit braver, you would have just lost ninety-three thousand. Remember that. The result, I think. The right answer is Apsley House. I tell you what, you played every single thing right tonight. He goes away with one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Not bad. Up you go, that well done. Go and spend it. Such a great result. Dan Hotching goes back to Liverpool with £125,000. Now, nine contestants left. Fastest finger first again. No calling out in the audience, as always. We need them to concentrate. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these qualifications in the order they are usually achieved. MA, GCSE, PhD, BA. Everybody finished there, most of them finished very quickly. Let's see then, let's see the right order, uh, in the order they usually achieve. First and foremost then, uh, GCSEs, then hopefully you go on to get a BA, then you get an MA, and then you get a PhD. That's the right order. Let's see how many of them got it right. All these got it right. One, two, three, four, who was fastest? Richard Phillips in 6.93 seconds. <laughs> This is Richard Phillips, a businessman from Burdingbury in Warwickshire, up there in the audience, his wife Cindy, and watching at home are at least some of his seven children. Uh, Richard's held a private pilot's licence for five years, but says being on this show is far more nerve-wracking than his first solo flight. Are you nerve-wracked? Yeah, yeah, I'm really... Probably watching Dan was quite... <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think we were all nerve-wracked watching Dan. He did really well. He did? He did fine. So, confident? Calm? Nope. Nope. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. OK, 15 questions, £1 million, three brand-new lifelines, 50-50. Phone a friend and, of course, ask the audience. Right, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Which of these is a popular timepiece that strikes the hour with a sound like a bird call? Doesn't sound too tricky. Cuckoo clock. Vulture clock. Eagle clock. Flamingo clock. I think I'll go with cuckoo clock. Very wise. You've got 100 pounds. <laughs> You can go now if you want. You can yeah, I've, I've died one, one night, somebody will do that. Probably not someone with seven kids, though. Right, have a look at question number two for £200. Here it comes. 
Complete the title of the 1962 film starring Marlon Brando, Mutiny on the Twix, Galaxy, Bounty, Snickers, Mutiny on the Snickers, Bounty. Bounty, right answer, two hundred pounds. Question number five, you could go home with nothing. I'm sure you won't. You've got all three lifelines. Use them if you had to. Have a look at question number three. It's worth throwing quick. Which of these words refers to a period of isolation to prevent the spread of infection? Nectarine, margarine, quarantine, limousine. Quarantine. Right answer, 300 pounds. <laughs> OK, for 500 quid, question number four. What was the English term for a German submarine used during the First and Second World Wars? The English term for a German submarine. U-boat, V-boat, W-boat, X-boat. U-boat. Right answer, 500 pounds. <laughs> OK, last point at which you could go home with nothing, Richard. I'm sure you won't. You've got 500 pounds at the moment. Have a look at question number five. It guarantees you're going home with at least 1,000 pounds. In the Winnie the Pooh stories, what type of animal is Eeyore? Donkey, rabbit, kangaroo, tiger. Eeyore was a donkey. Took a long time to think about. <laughs> Final answer? Yep. Yep, it's good. You got a thousand pounds. What are you? Could do with a drink. <laughs> There's some water there. Sorry, that's all <laughs> you get. Some drink. Yeah, sorry, that's all you get. Uh, but hopefully at the end you can have a huge drink with uh, a big cheque in your hand. Have a look at question number six. It's worth £2,000. With which type of music is the composer Scott Joplin associated? Soul. Ragtime. Rock. Country and Western. Ragtime. Final answer? Yep. Yep. No problem, it's worth £2,000. Well done. <laughs> OK, you've got £2,000, you've got all three lifelines left. No problem at all so far. Have a look at number seven for £4,000. Who was the first president of the United States? The first president, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln or Theodore Roosevelt? First president of the USA. What are you thinking? Well, I think I know, but for safety, I might phone a friend. Up to you. I'll uh, phone Tim. Okay, phone him for 30 seconds, tell him the question and the full possible answers. Hopefully, get you up to 4,000 pounds. Where's Tim? He's in uh, Bewley. Hello? Tim? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good God. Good grief. Uh, we're right in the middle of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Richard Phillips at the moment is on £2,000. With your help, we can get him up to £4,000. OK. OK, the next voice you hear will be Richard's. he tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of those is the right one. It's worth £4,000. Right. OK? OK. Richard, your time starts now. Good luck. Tim, hi. Who was the first president of the United States? Was it Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, or Theodore Roosevelt? It's a guess, Richard. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. 75% guess. 75%? Yeah. Can't be any more specific, I'm afraid. OK. Well, do you fly on seventy-five percent? Seventy-five percent chance these wheels will come down. Right. 
Take your time, have a look. You saying, Jefferson? It's, it's your call. Well, you better, you, I don't think it is, so you better give me the 50-50. Okay, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Richard the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Right, George Washington. <laughs> Final answer? Yep. It's the right answer, you played well, you got £4,000. <laughs> OK, you've still got one lifeline. <laughs> See what you make of us, the audience. Um, have a look at question number eight. It's worth £8,000. Richard, you've got £4,000 at the moment. This is worth £8,000. Money starts to get a bit steep. You lose £3,000 at this point. You're guaranteed £1,000. But have a look. Take your time. Question number eight of a possible 50. Which of these is the name of a legendary island continent said to have sunk? A legendary island continent said to have sunk. Anubis. Atlantis, Artemis, Aramis. Atlantis. Sure. Sure enough. Final answer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good. Final answer? Yep. It's the right answer. You've got 8,000 pounds. <laughs> Aramis is actually aftershave, isn't it? <laughs> you got 8,000, Richard. You've still got one lifeline. Have a look at number nine. It's worth £16,000. You would lose 7000 If you do go for the next question, give me a wrong answer. You've got 1000 guaranteed at the moment. You've got 8000 Have a look at this. It's nine out of a possible 15 questions. Which Italian pasta is shaped like seashells? Linguini. Macaroni. Conchiglia. Tagliatelle. Italian pasta shaped like seashells. It's worth sixteen thousand pounds. <clears throat> do you eat a lot of pasta? Yep. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what it's called? There's other ones like seashells. Mm -hmm. um, Take your time. You got eight thousand. I'm not certain, so I'm going to ask the audience. OK. Audience on your keypads, please. Let's get Richard up to £16,000. This is the question. Which Italian pasta is shaped like seashells? A, B, C or D. It's worth £16,000. All vote now. Quite high. Yeah, I thought, well, yeah, I'm going with that. You nearly said I thought so. <laughs> I did think so, yeah. Final answer? Yep. Well done, everybody. It's the right answer. You got 16,000 pounds. Well <laughs> right, you got 16,000 pounds. That's your last lifeline. The next question, though, is worth 32,000 pounds. You obviously don't have to play this one. You would drop 15,000 if you gave me a wrong answer, but it's worth 32. Have a look at number 10. Tell us what you want to do. In the first UK TV series of Big Brother, oh, hey. who was the first person to be evicted from the house? Andy, Nicola, Caroline, <laughs> Sada. I never watched it, and the faintest idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to take the money. And you got no life phone? Yeah. Oh, okay. I never I don't know. Well, final, final answer, you can take the money? Yeah, yeah, I honestly don't. I don't think. OK, give him a big hand. <laughs> Richard, you go away with £16,000. I can tell you, and I'm sure you couldn't care less, actually, I can tell you the right answer is D. Sada. All right, mate, you give up with £16,000. Yeah, Thanks yeah. a lot. Well played. Yeah. Phillips takes £16,000 back to Warwickshire. Now, we've got eight players left tonight. Fastest finger first again. Nice and quiet, please. Here comes the next question. Put these names in order to form the full name of a well-known singer. Louise, 
सिखौनी म 